Hey guys, welcome back to Olivia's Blooms. Today is Saturday, October 20th, and I wanted to take you on a tour of the fall vegetable garden. We still haven't had our first frost. It's probably gonna happen within the next two to four weeks. So I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like after we've had a few weeks of cool weather and to just update you on how some of my fall crops are looking. So let's look around my garden. We're gonna start here in my first raised bed. And this is the Ruby Moon Hyacinth Bean, which if you follow me, you've seen many times. Just beautiful. And this archway looks exactly as how I imagined it when I put these here in the spring. It's like walking through a beautiful gateway. Down here I have a volunteer carrot that I probably can pull out here soon. I'm not even sure what color it is. Let's see. Looks like maybe the Kyoto red. I don't think the camera can see that well. I've got my fall sown beets that didn't do well, but interestingly, you'll see that my spring sown beets actually are now doing really, really well. And I have some self seeded dill. This dill just grows absolutely everywhere. I have to show you guys this. This is the gateway, the gate to my vegetable garden. And I had, I'll show you a picture, but let me get my shadow out of the way. I had a dill come up right here underneath where the door swings open. I covered it over in mulch and it's still popped through and is growing. So the dill has a will to live. And on the other side of this bed, I sowed some cover, cover crops. So I did try and plant some um, I think it was cabbage here and I just didn't get it to germinate, which is fine. So this is a cover crop mix that I sowed in another video with you guys. And honestly, I'm really enjoying the green. And what I'll do is before this goes to seed, I will just kill it and work it back into the soil instead of using fertilizer. I believe I even have a couple nasturtium hard to see but let me show you the leaves that just seeded themselves from the spring so and these leaves are edible they're actually kind of spicy so I might throw some of those in my salad and one little marigold plant providing some flowers for the pollinators next to this bed I have tomatoes and peppers oh my goodness in my wooden trellis is falling over. I think it's being pulled over by all of these vine plants. These peppers grew tons of these beautiful green bells, but they haven't really been ripening. I've gotten one red one so far, but the green ones are sweet and delicious, so I've been eating them anyway. And then this is a late planted tomato that I have just let go crazy. This is the black pearl tomato. But I'm thankful that I planted this one later because I can show you if I sit up back here. This one is healthy and just covered in tomatoes. Oh, I need to bring some of those inside. The tomatoes that I planted earlier in the year, you can see not as happy. I'm still getting a few, but they're not really ripening. I probably need to pull these plants out. But I'm still getting a few here or there. There's the berries, crazy cherry. This is the bed that I pulled all those sweet potatoes out of in my sweet potato video. I'm probably going to fill the soil back in, fix the drip tubing, and maybe try throwing a cover crop on here. We've still got a couple weeks left shadow. We still have a couple weeks left so I think I might have time to get a cover crop over this. Now we will move on to the bed where I had my sunflowers. My cilantro back here. I put it back here because it's a little bit shadier. I'm really enjoying this cooler weather you can see. I've had a few of my cilantro plants go to seed and I've just been spreading the seed around so that maybe in spring I can get some more cilantro, if you can see this. Just spreading the seed around in my garden. I have a couple yarrow 
that I fall sown for spring blooms. And then I've got some winter cabbage that got started late. I might try and cover it once we start getting frost to see if I can get these to mature. And then a couple cauliflower that got eaten down to the stems and are way behind that I don't think I'm gonna get any cauliflower out of. I might try and eat the leaves maybe in some salads, although those are also very, very chewed as you can see. And then my eggplant plants have finally, finally started to grow. They just sat there all season, got black bean aphid very badly. I don't know if I'll get any eggplants off of them before the frost, but we'll see. Here is my basil bed. And the one plant that I grabbed from Trader Joe's has been just so disease resistant. Look at the rest of these. These are all Genovese type basil. The tall scraggly ones are ones that I started from seed. Now they didn't get a great start. They were in a different pot and I planted them here. So I think in the next week or two, I'm gonna have to cut all these down and make a few more gigantic batches of pesto and vinaigrette, but I have been eating that like crazy this season and loving it. Before we leave this section, I'm gonna swing around here and show you these beautiful, oh, here's the sunflowers I cut down. I need to throw those in the compost. It's beautiful hoopra, these gorgeous silver leaves. And then the celosia that seeded itself here, and I've been loving using this in arrangements. And I'm even, I even cut a bunch to dry. I'm gonna let some of this go to seed so that I can have again more next year without having to do a thing. Here is the back of my tomato forest. And just wanted to show you some beans that I'm letting, these are pole beans, and I'm gonna let these fatten up and dry so I can shell them. Here are my straw flower that are pretty much done. I'm still letting them go because I'm, I'm getting a few more that I can dry. Here's a yellow. Here's one of my pink. This was a straw flower mix. Some of the orange and red. So the straw flowers surprisingly can handle some cold. And I planted these very early while we were still getting a few frosts. And then my herbs, this is my thyme, my sage, look at this. So here's the normal sage that most of you are familiar with. And then look at this, this pineapple sage might've been one of my favorite herbs that I've ever grown. It actually smells like pineapple. And then look at these beautiful blooms on it. And I've got lemon balm, mint, some orange mint down here and some rosemary. Let's see more straw flowers. I had a still be back here and it's done for the season, but it was beautiful when it bloomed. And I actually used some of these dried blooms as well in some dried arrangements, which is really pretty. And this looks like the viola that was near here <laughs> receded itself, so they sure recede very prolifically. Here I have a second year flat leaf parsley that I let go to seed. And my asparagus bed. Asparagus can just be very unruly, I've learned growing it. My husband likes it. I'm not the biggest fan, but I want my whole family to get to enjoy the, the vegetable garden. So I'm growing some of these for him. Here are my beans and I've been picking a ton off of these. So I don't know that I have a bunch to show you. These are my tri-colored beans. So I've been picking, here's a good example. Here's a purple. Here's a green. And the yellow, I think I only have them on the other side. And I also planted right next to here, the Blue Lake bush beans. So these are just a bunch of bush beans and done amazingly well. 
Next to those are my cow peas, and I've gotten a ton of those, also known as black eyed peas. And we planted these together in a video. And they got pretty far up the trellis. We'll see how far, much farther they go before we get our frost. We have another marigold. My sweet banana peppers. I think I'm gonna do a last harvest on these here soon. They don't seem to be loving this colder weather. And I also have a poblano. Lots of beautiful poblanos to pick off of that. You can see them back there. We better get harvesting on these. Oh, I guess I'm harvesting this one today. Behind me is my newly planted green stock with all of my strawberries. I have a video on that and how I planted that up. Here is the bed where I just took out my strawberries. Now you can see I had nigella in here in the spring and it is definitely receding itself, although these are pretty thin and gangly because they've been underneath all the strawberries trying to reach for the sun. But I also have in this bed, oh, look at these zinnias. Zinderella peach zinnias. And some crests that I'm hoping will give me a nice show in the spring. So I did a fall sowing of the crests and you can see a couple more nigella. And some leftover strawberry plants I'm gonna have to dig out. Here's the Zinderella lilac zinnias. In this bed, I have my carrots. My first succession you can see on this side is looking wonderful. I'm probably ready to harvest these actually here very soon. Although in the fall, I don't feel as rushed to harvest them because the frosts just make them sweet. And I find that they store in the grounds in the fall for a long, long time. Oof, this looks like a big one. Let's, let's pull this one out together. I think this is a yellow, let's see. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that's an orange. So they could still size up a little bit. My second succession of carrots did not do as well. I'm not sure why. I think maybe we got some really hot days. There's some more strawberry plants that I'm going to need to continually dig out that are trying to spread everywhere, which is why I put them in the green stock. In the back of this bed are, again, some strawberry plants that spread themselves and another second ear parsley. And then we have my snapdragon bed. Still going strong in this cool October weather. He's still cutting flowers here in the fall. See a little orange there. Now here in this bed, I have lots of different things. I have some lettuce, some lettuce mix that I've been, you can see I've been really eating heavily off of that. I love lettuce in the fall. Here I have my spring sown golden beets. And I picked a ton of these, but there were a bunch that were too small. So I just let them go. They sort of sat here over the summer. And now here in the fall, I'm getting beautiful beets. Look at that. So I've been pickling them, roasting them. So I did not know that the beets from the spring, if I left them with regrow in the fall. So that is a pleasant surprise and something I might try and do again. So it was not such a loss that my fall beets did not do as well. Look at this red beet back here. You can see another one that I left from the spring that was puny. Now that's going to be a good sized beet. I also have my romaine lettuce. Look at that. I'm so excited. I love romaine. Probably gonna have to share some of this. I don't know if I can eat this many heads in the amount of time before they go bad. But I've been also eating them as leaf lettuce. So I love lettuces. And then in the back of this bed, I have some more cool season hardy annual flowers. I have some fall planted stock and some fall planted, oh, it's windy, excuse me status that I'm hoping will give me a nice beautiful set of blooms in the spring 
And then my kale, which is not looking great. I clearly have something in my garden that likes eating brassicas. And in the back of my snapdragon bed, I also have some fall snapdragons. I need to pinch those because you don't want them to get too big before the frost. And some more yarrow that again will overwinter as small plants and then take off in the spring. Well, that's the goal. Here is my garlic bed. We just planted that in a video and you can see all my garlic popping up. Very exciting. Some volunteer carrots that I'm letting grow. And in my last bed, this is really a mix of a lot of different things. I have a bunch of eggplants that have really done nothing all season. I pulled one eggplant off of this. Here's maybe one more small one, but that's probably all I'm gonna get. Again, the black bean aphids just really got to these eggplants early in the season. I have a bunch of potatoes that planted themselves here. These are just regular, it's a mix of um, red New Orleans and some Kennebec and one other variety I can't remember. And then here I have some Lincoln peas that I'm so excited. They are not, they're looking healthy. My peas in the spring all were covered in aphids. So I'm really hoping I get some shelling peas before we get our first frost because I didn't really get to enjoy many in the spring. And these are my favorite thing to eat out of the garden. So fingers crossed that I'll get a good number of shelling peas to eat. You can see there's lots of flowers on it. And in this corner, I have some more cover crop that we sewed together. You also might have noticed that the floor of my vegetable garden is a different color. And that is because one of my very generous co-workers dropped off a bunch of free uh, mulch for me and while I'm nervous about using um, any kind of soil or soil amendment or mulch that I don't know a lot about it was perfect and free for the floor of my vegetable garden which I'm just using to walk on so not too worried about what's in it but there's something beautiful and peaceful about a messy end of season fall garden so I thought I'd just show you a little tour and thank you all for joining me. I hope you had as much fun looking through my garden today as I did.